Hi everyone. Welcome to the Showgirl Tip of the Day podcast. A podcast where we talk about show business, old friends and new adventures. I'm Michelle Bruckner and today I'm celebrating because tomorrow December 21st in 2021 the podcast is 1 year old. Happy birthday to the Showgirl Tip of the Day podcast. I want to thank all my guests who came on and talked about show business and life, vintage clothing and travel. I want to thank you, the listeners, for telling your friends, for leaving five-star reviews on Apple Podcasts and just being here. Being here with me in my own little corner of this world, having fun. I hope you have something nice and warm to drink. Pull up a chair and get nice and cozy with me as we talk about 2021. This year has gone by so fast. I can't even believe it. I have a few favorites. You know, every year TV shows and podcasts do like year in review. I have to admit I kind of like that. I like to take stock of the 12 months that we just spent on this earth. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for all the relationships that I have and all the love in my life. As we gear up to celebrate the holidays together, I just want to remind you that you are loved, you're important, and you don't have to be in a show or working on a film project to be a performing artist. You are an artist whether or not you are getting paid at the moment to do something. If you are not in the performing arts and you like to listen to this podcast, I hope that I've illuminated a little bit of what happens to make a show or a film project or a television show happen. I hope that you have enjoyed just hearing the backstage stories because to be honest with you the backstage stories are my absolute favorite. Now, I keep this podcast very cuss-free and PG in terms of the stories. However, we do have some fabulous stories that are of a different nature. And so I'm working on almost a shadow podcast, the show girl tip of the day kind of a B-side where you can get all the juicy dirt, not all of it, but you know what I mean. Yeah, there are some things I will never tell and there are some secrets I will keep with me to the grave. But working on a Patreon because I think that that's the way I want to go. A lot of people do ads on their podcast. That could be a possibility. All I know is that I love doing this and I love sharing things with you. Today's anniversary podcast is sponsored by KL Photography and the website is www.photosbykl.com. K A Y E L L E.com. Kristen Litzenberg is an amazing photographer who does all of my shoots. If you like my Instagram feed, if you like the photos on my website, Kristen Litzenberg contributed 90% of those photos. So thank you Kristen. We just came from New York City this morning where we had a wonderful holiday photo shoot. Stay tuned for those photos. Now this was the episode where I wanted to wrap up the year in terms of entertainment. Every year a lot of blog posts and podcasts and TV shows and interview shows do the top 10 this and that. for 2021. So, here are a few of the top movies, plays, musicals, and a couple of TV shows thrown in from 2021. Top movies and top shows. And what else? Top plays, top musicals. So, I didn't see all that much this year. I was working a lot. I did get to see Passover on Broadway. It was a fantastic play. I loved that play. I saw a production of South Pacific out on Long Island, Plaza Long Island, and that was choreographed by my friend Moretta Munter. It was a fantastic production. I loved that. Movies I saw in the Heights. I loved that movie, and tomorrow I'm going to see West Side Story in the movie theater where 
it should be seen. So I'm super happy. Okay, so I did poll several of my friends and people that I know and respect. And I said, hey, what were your top plays, musicals, films? Okay, here's Kathy Ranking. Kathy Ranking loved Thoughts of a Colored Man, Hands Up, Alliance, Trouble in Mind. Those were all on Broadway, New York City this year. Musicals, Kathy loved Company, Caroline or Change, and Assassins. Films in a theater, In the Heights, Candyman 2, and Shang-Chi. Kristen of KL Photos, the plays that Kristen loved, Time Stands Still and Arcadia. Musicals, Parade. Oh, I don't think she understood the assignment. These were, okay, I got to talk to her because these are her all-time ones, not from 2021. Okay, so scratch that. Brian Wisnant loved Far From Tree, Being the Ricardos, Flea, Spencer, King Richard, Barb and Star, Shang-Chi, Drive My Car, The Humans, and West Side Story. A lot of folks enjoyed Dune this year also. So what were your top plays, movies, musicals, television shows? Now, I know I am super late to the party, but I loved Stranger Things. We just started watching it. I know I'm about five years late, and I have no idea why I never watched it before. It's amazing. It's so well done. The acting is phenomenal. The children in that are just, whoo. Winona Ryder kicks some major booty with her acting in that. So I have been very reflective the last few weeks. And to be perfectly honest with you, I've been exhausted. I realize I took on way too much. And that's okay. Now that I realize that, I've got to tell myself, do half of what you think is enough and it will be fine. Freelancers, a big, a big pitfall is that when people offer us work, we just don't know where the next job is coming. So we say yes to everything. And I've been doing that for 30 years. And I thought the pandemic taught me a lesson. But there's a part of me that loves to race, loves to be crazy busy. But here's the thing. I need rest. I need to be in bed early. I used to be a late night person when I did a show at eight o'clock. But my schedule has flip-flopped. And so my preferred hours are I would love to get up at six or seven. I would love to start work at nine or 10 and be done so that I could have a dinner and go to bed. So now most of the evenings of the week, I don't eat dinner. And that's nobody's fault but mine. But after my contracts are up, I know I've said this before, I'm going to make some changes. Here's the thing though, I love my jobs. I love what I do and I love the people with whom I work. So it's going to be a pretty, it's going to be pretty hard to select what stays and what goes, but something does got to give, like the song says. I am so excited that I'm going to visit my daughter. While I'm there, I'm hopeful that we will be able to get out and hit some vintage shops and some thrift stores and things like that. It would be so much fun. I'm also starting a legit business reselling. I'm going to start working at the vault up in Maine and really start. I have so much inventory now, I don't even need to source, but I will start offering some vintage and hopefully maybe people will want to buy some stuff with some history to it. There's a few things I just cannot part with, but that's okay. As life goes on, I realize that stuff is just stuff and making memories is the most exciting thing. It's the most fun thing we all can do. I'm slipping a package of hot cocoa mix into my suitcase so that my daughter and I can make some hot cocoa and watch some movies and just enjoy the holiday season. I am thrilled to be able to travel to do that. It's been so long since we all were just able to come and go, so now I really appreciate it. I know we haven't even started 2022, but I am already planning for 2023. I'm starting my planning for my pilgrimage on the Camino 
in 2023. If you like this podcast and you would like to help sponsor my pilgrimage, go to Custom Inc. Dot com and type in Michelle Bruckner. There is a t-shirt fundraiser. I designed a t-shirt to raise money for my Camino pilgrimage. So customink.com. You just have to type in Michelle Bruckner under fundraisers. I wish everybody a fantastic holiday and I'm going to leave you with a song. This is a song I wrote called A Showgirl Christmas. Pumpkin pie and candy canes, a fireplace and some frozen rain. We have no need to complain. It's a showgirl Christmas. The tree is so high, we can just try to reach the top. To put on the star, we've traveled far. The A train's the last stop. Hang up your coat and stay a while. I hope you enjoyed that song, Showgirl Christmas. It's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. And I would love for you to go to Apple Podcasts and rate this podcast and please give it a five-star review. That would be a Christmas present to me. Thank you for being here for the last year. We're going to have some new adventures in 2022. There's an episode next week. Don't you worry, but I will have it ready to go and I will be off visiting my daughter. So thanks everybody. You have a lovely holiday. Merry Christmas. The Showgirl Tip of the Day podcast has original music Music composed by Joshua Holloway. Find him on YouTube, Joshua Holloway Music. This podcast is written by Michelle Bruckner and edited by Michelle Bruckner and Joshua Holloway. Find me on Instagram, Showgirl Tip of Day. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again next week with a new episode. Show, show.